Kelsey Zalamini. I am the manager of Thompson's Gallery London, and we are excited to kick off the 2021 exhibition schedule with the year ahead in formal partnership with London Art Fair 2021. This year, of course, as we can't actually be on our exhibition stand at Islington Business Design Centre, we decided to lock the doors and bring the fair to the gallery, delivering the same exciting new sculpture and paintings from our favourite names to our audiences, but online. The title of the exhibition, The Year Ahead, is referencing the fact that for this year's edition, we do want to use the platform in the moment to advertise the full exhibition calendar coming up. We are hoping that everyone will get excited as they would be entering the design center because we feel the work is better than it's ever been. A lot of our artists have been putting all of their energies across the past year into creating things that are truly special and uplifting more than anything um, in a time when I think we really all need art to do so. Paul Wright is a perennial attraction for art lovers at both gallery locations. He will debut a new body of work entitled Profiles in February at the London space, um, focusing on more anonymous faces than we've seen him in the past. Uh, it's more about representation and what it means to take photos of yourself or get portraits painted in an era where normally it's digital and disseminated through channels like social media and websites. Anne Schrager will debut a new body of paintings at the Oldborough Gallery this April, featuring scenes from across her travel memories, her most cherished destinations being India and the Middle East. Tyrone Deans is one of the newer artists in our roster who will be having his debut solo exhibition for the London space between May and June of this year. His work is deliberately material. He uses all sorts of things from paints, oils, hair product, sand, and scrawls into the surfaces often to get people talking and thinking about things from national and cultural identity to social justice. Patsy MacArthur is a dynamic charcoal artist whose work often explores movement and kinesis and the body. Um, the work that she'll be debuting in her solo exhibition in April and May in London will focus on these topics. Uh, she works with acrobats, trampolinists, and a range of people who do that for a living to make her work as real as possible. Popular Wacky Worlds by Ian Weatherhead. Scottish landscape specialist Peter King. Abstracted landscape artist Peter Wildman. Folk style Scottish painter Helen Tabor. Abstract bronze sculptor Chris Buck. And inventive sculptor John Clark. We hope everybody feels as excited as we do about the year ahead, and we look forward to engaging with everyone with questions and interest on our website and on our social media platforms, our Instagram and our Facebook, uh, about all of the artwork on show in both London and Oldborough.